Hey everybody, it's Chris from PC Addicts, and in this video I want to talk about a really cool little program I used to use, and I think I did a video on it a while back, but um, time for an updated video. It's called Gen Control, and what it does is it uses VNC to some degree to remote into client computers, but without any interaction on the other end, without having to go over to the client computer and install a server piece um, to allow you to connect to it. It's really cool, but you do need to have domain administrator rights within that domain, and it can be a work group. Um, you may be able to do some tricky stuff with map drives and credentials and everything, but um, I tend to not mess with that because it takes too much time uh, to try to figure that stuff out. But um, yeah, uh, it's a cool little program. It's free. Uh, your antivirus may see it as a threat, but uh, I've had a couple different antivirus uh, programs detected as a threat and just ignore it because it's not a big deal. It's unfortunate though, it does not work. If the client computer has Windows 7, it does not work. And I think Vista as well, it will not work. But your computer, as your, as a technician, you could be sitting on a Windows 7 machine and you can run the program and you can successfully connect to Windows XP machines, Server 2003 and whatnot. So, I mean, there's a few instances where you really do need to see the console session maybe to help out a client, but usually there's other programs you can use with that. Team Viewer, um, just the built-in Windows remote assistance works well for that. And you have a little built-in chat on that too. But this is just for those instances where you need to be able to connect without Maybe the user stepped away from their desk or something, and you need to be able to close some some applications out before you restart the machine. Um, I mean, again, you can use stuff like Remote Task Manager, uh, but then you have to pay for a license on that. And, and uh, there's other programs you can use too. But um, let's go check it out. I do have a server downstairs running Windows uh, Server 2003, and I'm going to use it to connect to that. Now, there's nothing going on on the console down there, but you'll see the login prompt just as if you were sitting down there on the screen. And if we were to move our mouse, whoever's down there too would actually see the mouse move. So, all right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you, oops, wrong one. Here's what Gen Control looks like. Real simple interface on the left-hand side. We have um, recent hosts that I connected to. You can see one in there is my server. And then over on the right is a list of the LAN hosts. So what I'm gonna do is double click on my server, actually I'll just click connect because I highlighted it, I'm going to hit connect and give it a few seconds and there it is. So here is my Windows 2003 server login prompt. Now we can right click on that since we're, we need to be able to press control and delete, right click on that, send control and delete and then just log in with our domain uh, name and uh, there we are. We're actually at the console, if somebody was down there looking at the monitor, this is what they would see. Um, and what it did was create, you can look on the C drive here, um, oops. you can see that it created this VNC temp directory. Now within that you have um, vnchooks.dll and winvnc.exe. Now once, once we stop this session, it's going to stop any services, any VNC services that it's running. Sometimes those won't delete um, and you have to go in there and uh, manually delete them if you need to try to, if you try to reconnect. So basically I'm going to go ahead and log off of that and that utility comes in real handy. Again, unfortunate that it does not work with Windows 7. Um, I hope that one day they will um, come out with something similar, a free utility like this. So. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, leave your comments and suggestions down below. Don't forget to check out PCAddicts.com.